Hey everyone, back here at the Lookout Tavern, your first stop on the left, coming down the hill. Joined by Mr. Rick Kuehl. Rick, good to see you. Good to it's see you. It's great. Slater. Rick, a long time uh, resident up here of Killington, and the man behind the Sunday Shred on YouTube. Tell us quickly about that. Yeah, yeah, me and my buddies have been getting together every Sunday morning, uh, rain, sleet, or snow, making videos every Sunday morning, basically documenting our shenanigans for the last uh, over 10 years at least. So yeah, check it out on YouTube. Good stuff, friends from Aspen East up here. Well, we've also brought you in because we wanted to uh, talk about the Wacky Winter Games. Now that's going down here uh, early here in March, correct? What are the dates? Uh, actually, this coming Monday. This? Uh, Monday, March 2nd. We need teams, so uh, come on out and have a lot of fun. It's, it's gonna be an awesome event. Yeah, it's the Wacky Winter Games, and I'm gonna throw out the mic best. Austrian accent here. Started by our friend, the man from Karlhuber from the Snowed Inn, way back, probably 2003. Uh, it's held at Pico, and again, it's this Monday, March 2nd, 3rd. Um, tell us more about some of the events and who we're going to benefit. Sure. Uh, so basically, it starts with a snowshoe race. Number one, $150 for a team, $35 per person to enter. There'll be a best prize for uh, prize for best time for men and women, uh, and then a team prize as well. Uh, you basically start with a snowshoe event uh, where you run through a course and you uh, have eight different challenges. Yeah. Each challenge gets you uh, time deducted from your uh, overall time, mm -hmm. and then you do a slalom course race uh, on exhibition at Pico. Uh, so. Uh, Pico Mountain Monday, uh, the slalom course race in between, you get to throw something at a target. If you hit the target, also deducts time uh, from your overall time. Fastest time wins. So yeah, should be a whole lot of fun. It sounds good. I know Manfred, uh, they used to do this in Austria all the time and he, he brought it over here to America. So uh, we've got, you've got him back involved. And, and tell us who, uh, now your son um, Chase, nine years old now. Uh, yep. We're trying to benefit uh, so his condition. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so uh, basically Chase is nine years old with something called Phelan McDermott syndrome. Uh, we do a benefit in the fall called Pie in the Face for Chase. Um, and then this is uh, just another benefit to uh, go towards his trust fund. Uh, so uh, when basically he's going to be living with us all his life and uh, we need to kind of think about the future. So we started a, a special needs trust fund uh, and all the proceeds from the Wacky Winter Games will uh, go to benefit his trust fund So for his um, future. It, it is a very rare condition, isn't it? Uh, he is still one of about 2,200 people worldwide with the condition. So wow. uh, nonverbal, uh, has seizures, uh, kidney issues, and uh, basically day-to-day -day challenges that uh, most people overlook, uh, or as simple as, uh, you know, chewing and eating. Uh -huh. so. so not only uh, are you going to benefit a very, very worthy cause, but of course uh, we're going to uh, have a heck of a lot of fun there too. 